Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video shows how to identify entrapment zones. We'll also explain how to select entrapment protection devices for your installation so that you meet the requirements of UL325. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. When it comes to safety, keeping pedestrians and objects away from automated vehicular gates is the best practice. Providing separate access for pedestrians and posting warning signs are essential, but they're not enough. Vehicular automated gates present a risk of serious injury or death if an individual becomes entrapped between a moving gate and a stationary object, such as a post or wall. Any location or point of contact where such an entrapment can occur is called an entrapment zone. LiftMaster offers a number of product options to protect against the dangers of entrapment. Let's look at the entrapment zones related to the open and close cycles of a swing gate and then talk about the safety devices you need to install to protect those zones. During the open cycle, the most likely points of entrapment are between the gate and any stationary object, such as a wall, column, or the post where the gate is mounted. During the close cycle, the most likely points of entrapment are posts, a wall, or in dual gate applications, the place where the two gates meet. Let's look at the entrapment zones related to the open and close cycles of a slide gate. During the open cycle, the most likely points of entrapment are between the rear edge of the moving gate and any rigid object that the edge may pass or approach. During the close cycle, the most likely points of entrapment are posts, a wall, or in dual gate applications, the place where the two gates meet. UL325 requires that gate installations must have at least two independent entrapment protection devices for each entrapment zone. Type A is inherent protection built into the operator. Type B1 is a non-contact sensor, such as a photoelectric sensor. Type B2 is a contact sensor, such as an edge sensor. Type D is a fixed three-button station. The first, Type A protection, is already built into all LiftMaster gate operators. Simply installing our operators covers the need for one of the safety entrapment protection devices for both the open and close entrapment zones. This built-in entrapment protection causes a moving gate to stop and or reverse if it encounters an obstacle. Now we need to select a second protection device for each of the entrapment zones. As an added safety feature, our operators will not allow the gate to move unless each of those external protection devices is monitored. A monitored device sends a pulsed signal to the operator, so the operator is aware of the device. If the operator does not receive the signal from the device, it will not run. Let's choose a LiftMaster monitored photoelectric sensor for the close entrapment zone. Photoelectric sensors are considered non-contact sensors. If the beam is blocked while the gate is moving, the gate will stop and reverse. The obstruction will have to be removed before the gate will travel in the closed direction. Let's choose a LiftMaster electrically activated edge sensor for the open entrapment zone. Edge sensors are contact sensors. They are activated when the edge on the gate comes in contact with an obstruction while the gate is moving. The gate will reverse and then stop. The obstruction will have to be cleared before the gate will travel in the open direction. Once installed, the entrapment protection system must be tested regularly. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Be sure to check out our other products and accessories when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.